WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN noon update. Dow's down 45 at 27,636. It was down quite a bit more. Not that much, but a bit more. It was down to 27,517 level, over 100 points lower earlier when out of the blue. Well, it wasn't out of the blue because I mentioned it. There were a couple of rumors earlier on that Boeing is getting ready to uh, announce that. They could be ready as uh, soon as mid-December, mid and you can see here uh, Boeing was down quite a bit earlier. Uh, Boeing was down at 345.56, and now it's at 359.65, uh, up 8.70. That's made a difference. That's uh, impacted the Dow. Dow is actually a better um, mover. It's down 44, but the S&P is down 8. It was down quite a bit more. Uh, earlier on. So you've got the S&P coming back a little bit, not as good as the uh, Dow itself. Uh, let's see, we've got Dow down, the S&P is down 9 at 3,084. QQQ of the NDX 100, uh, 201.72 was the high of three days ago, all-time high. Trading right now at 269, uh, down 54 cents. And you've got the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, down 72 cents at 158.36, a little bit weaker than the others. And you've got gold, which was down earlier, earlier uh, is now down 7 at 1455. It's trying to find some kind of a base here, but it's had this consolidation. It's gone underneath the rectangle support level. So the 1433s is now very important support. And you know that the dollar didn't really rally very much. Uh, it's down 20 cents at 98.18 after having a very nice run from 97.11 uh, on the 1st of September to the high of Friday of 98.40. Uh, so uh, holding quite nicely, considering that it's been in a consolidation for a little while. Crude oil, at this particular moment, crude oil is down 38 cents, kind of stuck in that range, touching the 200 period exponential moving average of the day. We'll talk about that in a moment. And uh, when I do my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, and, the, uh, and TLT is down 20 cents at 134.72. Have a look at this chart and discuss it in detail. This is the 30, 10, and 5-year yield. Look at that big breakout to the upside. This is the wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. Had a nice rally stuck now, and uh, the home builders have pulled back a little bit since the rate increase. I'll be right back in a few minutes for my show. Stay tuned. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.